Well, hello, IBC Bond family. This is Pastor Stephen Campbell here to talk to you about day seven of Passion Week, sometimes called Holy Saturday. This is the day the church celebrates and remembers that Jesus descended to the place of the dead. This is a somewhat complicated um, concept for us as the church to understand, but Let's first of all begin by understanding that in the biblical language, the place of the dead has, we might say, three different compartments in it. Now, these, this is a physical, geographical, spatial language that reflects a, a spiritual reality. Let's keep that in mind. But the, the spatial language in the Bible describes the place of the dead as having three different uh, compartments. One is the place of the righteous, those who die with faith and trust and hope in the Messiah. They die and go to their souls go to a place called paradise or sometimes called Abraham's bosom. They go to that place and await their final uh, resting place in the new heaven and the new earth. The Bible also speaks of a place where the evil spirits, the, the fallen angels who have been cast into prison, they are in a place of torment awaiting their final judgment. And the third place is the place called the grave or Gehenna or Sheol. And it's a place where those who died uh, with no faith, those who died outside of uh, God's grace, where they go and await their ultimate judgment. And in, in Christ's death, when, when he died, his soul descended into the place of the, the dead, and the Bible tells us that he proclaimed his victory. In uh, Peter's first epistle, he says it this way, For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, in which he also went and made proclamation to the spirits in prison who in the past were disobedient when God patiently waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared. Now, that's a bit strange, so let me, let me help you understand what's going on. The, the early church made a, a, a big deal out of, of this, this statement of, of faith. In fact, the Apostles' Creed, uh, this, this ecumenical creed for the whole church, uh, before there was any Roman Catholic church, before there was any Orthodox church or Protestant church, the early church came up with a, a profession of faith that said that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. He descended into the grave. Jesus had a human soul. Uh, his divine nature, his human nature were united in the incarnation into a real person, a real human. And it had a human soul. And that soul, when he died, descended into the place of the dead and he proclaimed victory. He proclaimed victory, and we celebrate that today. He, he, he entered into the place of the dead and pro proclaimed to the dead there his victory. Why does this matter? It is, in fact, very important that we understand this, that, that Jesus is Lord of all, even death. Jesus entered into the place where his enemy, Satan, is, is thought to be ruler of the dead. And in, in fact, Jesus crashes through. He breaks down the door. He, he tears down the gate and he says to the, the strong man, Satan, that he is bound. That Jesus is the Lord of every realm of existence. Jesus is Lord of everything. 
He is Lord of heaven above. He is Lord of the earth. He is Lord of death. Jesus is Lord of all. Secondly, we see that Jesus is victorious in his death. It was not the victory of Satan when Jesus died. No, far from it. It was Christ's victory. It was his victory when he died that sin had been defeated. So he proclaims his victory. Thirdly, we see that in every, every respect, what Paul says to the Philippians is true, that every knee will bow to Christ in heaven above and on earth below, and everyone under the earth will bow to Christ. Everyone in the realm of the dead, every soul in the place where the dead are, everyone will bow. Every knee will bow to King Jesus. And lastly, we see this incredibly pastoral truth that Jesus has gone before us into death. He has gone before us through the valley of, of the shadow of death. Do you know someone who is, who is old, who is uh, marching steadily on towards the end, towards death? towards the grave? Are you yourself feeling in your soul that you are marching towards death? You're closer now than you've ever been. This can create fear and, and worry, anxiety for us. But this, this understanding, this doctrine of, of Christ descending to the place of the dead shows us that our Lord has gone before us. He has paved the way into the next world. He is Lord of all. He is there and waiting for us. He is ready to welcome us. Death, we must understand, is a terrible enemy. Death is an enemy of God. And Christ is victorious over that. He comes bashing through, as you see in this picture. He comes smashing through into the place of the dead, and he binds the strong man, Satan. The Lord is Lord of all. I sure do hope that this, uh, this doctrine is an encouragement to you. I, I'm, I understand that it might be new to you, you might be left with questions. We're here, IBC Bonn, located in Bonn, Germany. We'd, we'd love to, to engage with you and answer any questions you might have. You can join us on Sundays for corporate worship at 1030. Thank you so much for, for joining us on this journey towards Easter Sunday.